Hey, my name is Joe. Uh, YouTuber name is Joe Daddy, D-A-D-I. Uh, we are here at the Bot Spot Robots, located in Niles, Illinois, and we have a great idea. Um, we are in the first Lego League, and through this, we have, uh, we have to create a project, an innovation project, and me and the guy behind the camera have come up with this, along with his entire team. Um, Bot Spot Ninjas, Team 22609. And what we're talking about is the um, the crisis in the Bahamas getting hit by the hurricane. We know that there's about 70,000 people who are homeless. And we are trying to figure out how can we help them as fast as possible. So what's your idea, sleeky one? All right, let's talk about the containers. <laughs> Can you cut that out? Yes. Let's talk about the containers. So, our idea with the crisis of the Bahamas, as you know, it got hit by a hurricane, and seven people, 7,000 people are homeless, as um, the guy behind the camera said. 70,000? Yeah, 70,000, actually. And they need food and a place to sit. I mean, <laughs> place to live. And so we have these containers right here, and either they can contain food and a place to live. They are livable and, and yeah. <laughs> so what he was trying to explain, um, a little camera shy right now, but since we have these containers and a great way to recycle these containers is to turn them into homes and it is a trend nowadays to turn containers into homes i guess it would more look like this on a nice little 20 foot or tiny home or something like that why not send a ship a ship full of these things which we also saw somewhere that the largest shipping container ship can hold 22,000 containers one trip alone, if all of the people across the world can come together and fill containers for everybody there in the Bahamas filled with food, um, materials, but especially tools, we know that just our kids alone that come here to the Bot Spot Robots to learn about this engineering and stuff, if we give them the right tools, they can definitely cut through metal and can definitely cut squares and rectangles into metal. So why not get some of these containers, fill them up with everything that we need to, put them on a big shipping ship. Um, there's a whole bunch of uh, money that's going out there. Maybe a lot of this money could be used. I don't know if we'll have enough for it, but it's a good plan if we could come up with it. But send all of those containers filled with stuff, plus get those containers off of the ship and onto those people's plots. So now they can take the tools that we have also sent to them to cut these things, um, maybe even send them some windows and some doors so they can actually make it look like a home. But now they can actually have a nice little home. And if they can fit two of them, great. And if they could afford an extra one, great. They can start building these container homes and have a nice container home city. But ultimately, instead of having to live in tents out there or something, they have metal, stronger than wood in itself and it could probably keep them from um or it can help them withstand another hurricane because they're all metal um the metal that they cut off of these maybe they can reserve it in a way where they can put it back on there just in case there is another hurricane on its way to protect the windows and things like that um solar panels obvious we could send them to them harbor freight sells 100 watt um solar panels 100 watt solar panels for like 150 bucks or something like that. So what can they run with that? Now, since we're sending them a whole bunch of food, how long is that food going to last them? We thought about this awesome idea of aquaponics. And if you subscribe to this video, you should be able to see all of the other videos that we took um, actually building an aquaponic system off of a fish tank and two goldfish. And we were able to grow microgreens within seven days where... Or, yeah, we're about to um, harvest the crops of them already. But if we could send them those systems, we could send them the seeds as well, and we could send the aquaponics to them, they can also grow their own farms 
faster. Just in case replenishment doesn't come right away, at least they're growing some greens for themselves. If we send them tilapia, I mean, they, you can order 20 tilapia for $100 on Amazon, but if we can ship some tilapia out there or something like that, they can use tilapia instead of goldfish inside of their fish tank, and they can grow this stuff without adding any nutrients. We were able to do that. Um, so now, not only do they have a home, but they also do have a source of food and protein. Well, um, we hope that this video can be used to help out everybody and our friends there in the Bahamas. Um, yes, please subscribe. Please like the video. Please share this video. So hopefully the people in charge can do what? You know. <laughs> Make use of some shipping containers, fill them all up, get them the food they need, get them the help they need, and put some tools in some awesome people's hands that can help rebuild a lot of the homes that are over there, stronger than what they were before, and even more beautiful. All right, just thought, hope this helps. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to click that subscribe link. Joe Daddy out. Sleeky one. Thanks again. Bye.